building a culture, you know, with young guys, a lot of new transfers. So just having us to mold that culture together and, you know, be a brotherhood. And it's, it's really cool to be a part of this program to, you know, how tight we are and how collective we are as a group. And then speaking of that, uh, Lincoln Riley talked about how he flew to Corvallis to meet with you in Easton in a driving rainstorm, and he stayed a lot longer than he usually would on most recruiting visits. What do you remember from that visit? What were those conversations like? How, how fun was that? Riley described it as a, a unique visit, something he, he hasn't really done before. What made it so unique? You know, it's just like him coming out on a Sunday night. You know, we were kind of just chilling at our crib. Still, we just hit the portal, so it was kind of like weird, you know. And then he was like, yeah, well, I'm coming on Sunday night. I was like, all right. So he came, and, you know, he talked on the couch with us for like an hour or so and just talked about what USC has to offer and what he thinks we can bring to the team. So, you know, I, I loved what he was talking about. And yeah, how soon, now. How soon was it after you guys hit the portal that he came out? Um, uh, it was that week. It was that week? Yeah, it was that week. So it was, it was kind of crazy. Everybody was coming out and trying to recruit us. But, you know, Lincoln was the only coach that came out to Corvallis and came to, you know, connect with us. So I was like, yeah, I trust this guy. He was he was saying that was kind of funny. He was like just hanging out for two hours. And, like, yeah, college kids. for real. Was like, that like a weirder experience to you guys? Yeah, my apartment at Oregon State was like definitely like a college apartment. You know, it wasn't like no high rise or nothing like that. But it was cool. You know, he was just I didn't know he was that like down to earth and that chill of a person. So you know, just him coming over and just talking for two hours was pretty cool. Yeah, like you talk about that like, brotherhood that you guys have yeah, created this off season. You know, I saw you today. You know, coaching up the uh, coaching up the sophomore Christian Pierce. What has just been your role in kind of mentoring the young guys this year? You know, for me, it's just knowing all my all the things that I've been through. You know, playing for six years, just trying to give them as much knowledge as possible. You know, because not saying I know everything, but I've seen a lot. So I've seen a lot at Oregon State. I've seen a lot here. So just, you know, giving them quick little tips that they could, you know, kind of key on, you know, to help them play better, play faster and not think so much. When, when you say, oh, 